bombarded with the head for weeks and months and years. And still, after all your efforts, it sounds shite. <laughs> and then every now and then, you get this magical little gem of a thing that happens where you wake up after 20 minutes of playing and singing and, and there it is, a completely finished song. It's a lovely thing when that happens. It happened to me in 1984. I sat down and wrote this song in about a half an hour. And it was a completely painless experience. And I woke up as if from a dream and there was the song finished. And uh, I didn't have the intelligence to trust it. So I, I had the song, but I didn't think it was any good because there was no pain involved in writing it. It's what I call post-Catholic traumatic stress disorder. <laughs> I've learned to trust the magical moments a little better in the meantime, thanks be to God for that. But about two weeks later, somebody who's a very good judge of a song, namely my brother Christy, heard me singing this song in my hacienda in the Costa del Bog in Deep Kildare. And he said, I I'll have that one please. <laughs> He's been singing it ever since. And at the end of every year, he sends me the royalty check. <laughs> you have to love all of it. It's all great, isn't it? It's win-win for everyone. Come on. Was the year 
here it all began Deadly pains of hunger Drove a million from this land Thank you very much. Come on, God bless.